This happens to be a column C, which of their nature they have a, a squared off end, blunt end, and I want it to be rounded. Now this works with column C or the column A. The advantage to column A is that when, when I start adding points, it will add them to both sides, of course, just like the column A works. Uh, but I can do the same thing with a column C. And so the first thing I want to do is select it and break it apart. Make sure it's selected. Touch H for the reshape tool. And I'm going to add some nodes. And these are going to help me manipulate that blunt end into a rounded end. I'm going to zoom in really, really close. Now I'll start moving these and this will be the center of my dome. That's not too bad there, but I think we can improve it a little bit. We'll take this perhaps here and this here. Now I'm really zoomed in. You don't have to be as fussy as I am. So I'll fiddle with it a while and get it just like I want it. Sometimes I even back up. Okay. And now when I zoom out, you see that it's rounded. And that's going to sew nicely. It's going to begin here and then end without any cuts. I had added caps in the beginning and I saw that I had a lot of um, cut, cut and tie so it was going to, the machine was going to sew so far, cut and tie, begin again and that was going to destroy my um, production time. So to eliminate the caps that I had created, uh, James Timmons had taught us to take the center line uh, satin stitches and break them apart and then you can manipulate the ends 